We will be using Claude AI Desktop to determine if we can program a PLC using a ladder logic diagram. Has AI learned enough to be useful when programming? We will take the results and enter the PLC program into the Do More Designer PLC Simulator to verify. Remember that any AI output result needs to be verified to ensure the accuracy of the information. Always test your logic before deploying into the real world. This is part of the commissioning cycle. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. The website offers extensive links, references, and coding samples, making it a one-stop shop for all your automation queries. accautomation.ca Starting from the beginning, we will ask the question to the Claude AI desktop application. Can you program a PLC using ladder logic? Yes, I can help you with PLC programming using ladder logic. I can write ladder logic programs for various control applications, explain ladder logic concepts like runs, contacts, coils, timers, and counters, convert process descriptions into ladder logic, troubleshoot and optimize existing ladder logic code, provide diagrams showing the ladder logic structure, though in text format, work with common instructions like normally open slash close contacts, latches, timers, TON, TOF, RTO, counters, CDU, CTD, comparison instructions, and math functions. What I can't do, actually download or test the program on physical hardware, use proprietary PLC programming software like RS Logics, TIA Portal, etc. Debug hardware specific issues without detailed information. If you have a specific control problem or application you'd like help with, just describe what you need the PLC to do, like process to control, inputs and outputs, desired behavior and sequences, any specific PLC brand slash model you're using. I can then write the ladder logic for you and explain how it works. What would you like to program? I want to program a start-stop circuit using a normally open start-push button and a normally closed stop-push button. This should be done in ladder logic. I'll create a basic start-stop circuit for you in ladder logic. This is one of the most fundamental PLC programs. How it works, at rest, the stop button and C is closed, start button is open and the motor is off. Starting, when you press the start button, I, 0 slash 1, current flows through the closed stop contact and the now closed start contact to energize the motor output. O, 0 slash 0, seal in slash latching. When O, 0 auto energizes the seal in contact, also O, 0 slash 0, closes in parallel with the start button. This maintains the circuit even when you release the start button. Stopping, pressing the stop button opens the NC contact, breaking the circuit and de-energizing the motor. The seal in contact also opens and the circuit resets. Key points, the stop button has priority being in series. The seal in contact creates a memory that holds the output on. This is also called a latching circuit. Would you like me to add any features like indicator lights, timers, or additional safety interlocks? The ladder logic picture does not look correct. You're absolutely right. Let me redraw it more clearly. Better explanation of the layout. Left vertical line equals power rail. Right vertical line equals return rail. I, 0 slash 0, stop, equals normally closed contact in series. I, 0 slash 1, start, and O, 0 slash 0, seal in, equals two parallel branches. The plus shows the branch point. O, 0 aught equals motor output coil at the end. Flow, power flows through the NC, stop contact, then splits into two parallel paths, through the NO start button, or through the NO seal line contact. If either path is closed, power reaches the motor coil. Would you like me to create this as a visual diagram instead? Or is there a specific format you prefer for the ladder logic? To try creating the ladder logic as a visual diagram. I'll create a visual ladder logic diagram for you. Perfect. Now you can see the ladder logic properly visualized. Here's how to read it. Circuit flow, left power rail, stop button, and C, junction point. From the junction, power can flow through two parallel paths. Upper path, through start button, O. Lower path, through ceiling contact, and O. Both paths rejoin and continue to the motor output coil, right power rail. Operation, press start, closes I, 0 slash 1, energizes O, 0 aught motor runs, and the O, 0 slash 0 ceiling contact closes to maintain the circuit. Release start, motor keeps running because ceiling contact is now closed. Press stop, opens I, 0 aught, breaking the circuit and stopping the motor. This is the standard self-holding latching circuit used in industrial controls. Is this clear now? The ladder diagram still does not look correct. You're right, let me fix it. I'll redraw it with proper ladder logic symbols. There we go. Now the ladder logic diagram has proper symbols. Key features. Stop. I. 1 slash 0 normally closed contact shown with diagonal slash through it. Start. I. 1 slash 1 normally open contact with visible gap in the middle. Motor seal in. O. 2 slash 0 another normally open contact in parallel with start. Motor. O. 2 slash 0 output coil shown with a circle and symbol. Parallel branches. The start and seal line contacts are in parallel, so either one can energize the motor. The legend at the bottom shows what each symbol means. Does this look correct now? Yes, this looks correct now, but the stop push button is wired normally closed, so the ladder symbol should be normally open to work. You're absolutely right. That's a critical point in PLC programming that I got wrong. When the physical stop push button is wired normally closed, the ladder logic symbol should be normally open because physical NC button not pressed equals contacts closed equals input is on one. 
equals no contact and ladder is closed. Physical NC button pressed equals contacts open equals input is off zero equals no contact and ladder opens. Let me fix the diagram. Perfect. Now it's correct. Thank you for catching that important detail. The key principle. Physical stop button. Normally closed NC. Contacts are closed at rest. Ladder logic symbol. Normally open NO because when input I 1 slash 0 is energized but not pressed, the contact closes. How it works now. Normal operation. Physical NC stop button is closed input I. 1 slash 0 is on NO contact and ladder is closed allows power to flow. When stop pressed. Physical NC stop button opens input I. 1 slash 0 is OFF NO contact and ladder opens, breaks the circuit and stops motor. This is a fundamental concept in PLC programming. You program the opposite of the physical device wiring because you're reading the input state, not the physical contact state. Now the circuit will work correctly. Thanks for keeping me accurate. Thank you. I'm using the Do More Designer programming software with the simulator. Can you change the input and output addresses? Absolutely. Do More Designer uses different addressing conventions. Let me update it to use the proper Do More addresses. Perfect. I've updated the addresses to do more designer format. Input addresses. X0 equals stop push button, physical NC button. X1 equals start push button, physical NO button. Output address. Y0 equals motor output, both the output coil and the ceiling contact. These are the standard discrete IO addresses for do more designer. When you program this in the simulator, you'll be able to toggle X0 and X1 to simulate pressing the buttons. Watch Y0 energize when you press start and latch on. Watch Y0 de-energize when you press stop. The circuit should work perfectly in the do more designer simulator now. The ladder diagram is not showing correctly. Let me redraw the entire diagram cleanly to make sure everything displays correctly. There you go. I've redrawn the entire diagram cleanly with the correct do more designer addresses. Addresses. X0 equals stop push button input. And no symbol in ladder because physical button is NC. X1 equals start push button input. And no symbol. Y0 equals motor output. Use for both the output coil and the ceiling contact. Is the diagram displaying correctly now? If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell beside your subscription to receive the notifications. Yes, thank you. I will now try this in the PLC programming software. Excellent. Good luck with your programming in Do More Designer. When you test it in the simulator, remember, X0 should be on initially, since the physical NC stop button is closed at rest. Click X1 to simulate pressing start. Y0 should energize and stay on click X0 to simulate pressing stop. Y0 should de-energize. If you run into any issues or want to add features like timers, indicator lights, or additional controls, feel free to ask. Happy programming. Using our Do More Designer PLC programming software, we can enter the ladder logic diagram that the AI created. You will see that it provides a comprehensive description of how the program works, along with complete documentation. We can utilize this in our actual program. The ladder logic provides the quickest ladder possible. You will see that the stop input is the first contact. If this contact is not made, the logic will stop scanning and proceed to the next level of logic. The PLC ladder logic that the Claude AI desktop application created eventually worked well. The iterations that AI went through to eventually provide a working program also teach those who are not familiar with how ladder logic works and its cyclic nature. There are many different PLC manufacturers with their own hardware and software. All programmable logic controllers share similar basic features. To learn how to approach learning about basic PLCs, click here. Click here to learn more about how PLC simulators can be used to help your programming skills, especially with the assistance of AI.